Hello, welcome to the Deploy VSRX instances using Azure Resource Manager Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After completing this Learning Byte, you will understand how to deploy a VSRX instance using Microsoft Azure Resource Manager. Azure Resource Manager, or ARM, is Microsoft Azure's implementation of Infrastructure as Code. It's a free service that allows you to define Azure resources in a JSON template. The JSON template can be fed to the Azure Resource Manager application, and it can process your JSON template and use the information to automatically spin up or instantiate Azure resources. This is an example of an ARM template. And again, it's in JSON format. And this template can define not only the VSRX instance that you want to launch, but also it's depending uh, the resources that it's dependent on. Things such as route tables and subnets and network CIDR blocks and interfaces. And in this template, we actually I took the extra step of not only deploying a VSRX, and, and it's supporting resources, but also a couple of Linux servers as well. So not just VSRX instances, but an entire Azure cloud infrastructure can be defined in these templates. In this learning bot, I'm gonna demonstrate using an ARM template to deploy all of these resources that you see in this screen. We'll define, a, the ARM template defines a network CIDR block, it also defines individual subnets that are going to be assigned to the interfaces that are also defined in the ARM template. And we're going to launch a VSRX instance and also two Linux servers. And we're going to do all this using ARM. I'm going to connect to Microsoft Azure now and we'll demonstrate this. This is the Microsoft Azure portal. You access this after you log in to your Microsoft Azure account. And the application we need to use to generate an ARM configuration is the templates application. Now, the templates application may not show up by default on your Azure portal screen. These, this is a list of recently used applications, and if you haven't used it, it, it won't be there. So use the global search bar and type in the word templates and hit enter, and you'll see the templates icon appear. Click on it. Now, I don't currently have any ARM templates in my account, so I'm going to click the Add button to create one. Each template that you create requires an administrator to find name and also a description. So once your template is named, you click OK and a generic blank ARM template is created for you. Now it's your responsibility to define in JSON format all of the resources that you want to deploy in Azure. So the virtual machine instances, their subnets, their route tables, their interfaces, their public, define it all in JSON format with all of the values in the, in, in the correct parameters. That's tough, right? One of the really neat things about Microsoft Azure is it allows you to create an ARM template from any existing resources. So let me show you a template that I created. I can show you this, and this is in Microsoft Visual Studio Code. This is an ARM template that was generated from a virtual network that I manually built, the VSRX that I manually placed in that virtual network, along with the manually created route tables and interfaces and subnets. There's even a couple of manually created Linux servers. Once all that infrastructure was manually created, Azure lets me export all of that data about all of those resources into a single ARM template, and that's what this is. So instead of having to define this by myself, if I can build it manually, I can export that data and then reuse this and automate the instantiation of all of that infrastructure. And that's what we're about to do. So once you have your template created, select it all, copy it. I'm going to return to the Microsoft Azure portal, and I'm going to replace the information with my template, my complete template. I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to click the Add button to complete creating my template. Now, the template, if it doesn't show up in the list immediately, you can click the Refresh button. 
It takes a second or two for Microsoft Azure to generate it. And here's the demo template that we just created. Now, once I have the template loaded in Microsoft Azure, I can now use it to deploy resources. And I do that by clicking on the template here in the list, and you'll see a deploy button. So let's select that, and you'll be presented with the menu. This is a these menus are built off of the actual template, right? So what resource group do you want to deploy your resources in? What's the name of the public route table? What's the name of the virtual machine? What's the name of the interfaces? All of this information is present in the template. You can modify this here, but the idea of the template is I don't have to. I've already defined all of the resources that I want. So you can see all of the resources that will be created. There's public IP addresses, there's, there's network interfaces, there's Linux servers. One of the things you do have to do is, is agree to the, you know, the terms and conditions of running this infrastructure. But once you click purchase, the Azure Resource Manager begins processing your ARM template, analyzing the definitions that you have created. And if the template is valid, it will begin a successful deployment. Now, the deployment of these resources can take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the video, and once the resources have been launched, I'll come back and we'll take a look. I've given the resources a few minutes to spin up, and I want to see what's actually been created. And to do that, I can use the All Resources icon. This, when clicking on this, will display all of the resources that I currently have running inside of Microsoft Azure. Um, there was a network security group that's been created. There are three interfaces, GD000, one and two. These are the interfaces that are associated with the VSR X instance that we lost. Here's a Linux server that's defined in the ARM template. There should be another Linux server. Here's Linux 2, right? So there's two Linux servers that are currently launched and running. Um, all of these resources were created automatically by the definitions in the ARM deployment was complete in the ARM template. All the route tables, all the interfaces, all the subnets, and here's our VSRX instance. So I'm going, to, I'm going to click on that to kind of view its properties. And the one I'm really most interested in right now is the public IP address that's been assigned to that resource. So I, I can click the icon here to copy that public IP address to my clipboard. And I have a terminal window. I'm going to try to log into it. So I want to uh, SSH. Let me paste in that, that public IP address. Let's see if I can connect. Okay, I'm connected. The, the password that's created by default matches the password you use to log into Microsoft Azure. And if I can remember it, I can log into my VSRX instance. And, and so let's take a look at the interfaces. And, and let's see how many, oops, I, I, I entered the wrong command. Let me try that a little bit differently. Let me run a show interfaces terse command so we get brief output about the interfaces. I can see the Giggy 000 interface. I can also see the Giggy 001 and 002. Now they have not been configured, but at this point I can enter configuration mode and load whatever configuration I want on the device. But this is an example of how you can use Azure Resource Manager and ARM templates to deploy an entire infrastructure. In this learning by it, we saw how to deploy a VSRX instance using Microsoft Azure Resource Manager. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.